So welcome to this video on how to find the best HRIS system for your organization. HR software is super important for any organization with, any, with more than like two or three employees. But no matter what size you are, there's a huge hidden cost of having bad systems. If you're interested in this content, we focus on how to help organizations make fast changes that are measured in days and weeks, not months and years. So subscribe here for more content like this. But the hidden cost of bad systems hits every part of your organization. We're going to just look at three examples here around retention, actually doing the wrong work and the importance of having clear results. So bad systems are, you know, anything that hits, you know, your organization. In fact, it hits probably every part of your organization. If you've got bad systems, you know, anything that relies on a spreadsheet is a bad signal. Anything that's difficult to use is going to stop people using it. Anything that just makes your organization a difficult place to work is, mean, is going to mean that people are going to not do the work that is difficult. So if your HR systems are old or manual or paper-based or difficult to access, then they're not going to do the HR activities that you know are key. So again, anything that's going to prevent you from getting your results, whether it's people distracted by too much manual work or too much kind of difficult systems, that's going to prevent them from doing the work that is really you know, what they're there and, you know, passionate about doing, what they're there to be paid for and what's actually going to help drive your results. So bad systems have impact on every single facet of the organization. They take away time and also they, 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 they damage morale as well. So just with retention as an example, as I said in the last video, you know, you know, retention starts right from their first interaction of a, of a potential employee with your organization. If you've got smooth systems, everything's easy to use, the interface is great and modern, then it's a great signal. If you don't have that and you're making it difficult for them even to kind of like do the interview process or to be you know, selected for an interview or to go through a track where they are in the, in the whole application process, if that's difficult for them, then it's going to be this first inkling that you know maybe your systems aren't right, maybe you are a difficult place to work. And that's going to start impacting um, how long they stay with you. And all the research says that someone that is, goes through a great onboarding process stays for a lot longer than someone who doesn't. So not being an easy place to work. But also, you know, without the right HR systems, you can't spot or predict issues. You can't identify when someone is underperforming. You can't understand, understand why they're not meeting their objectives. You know, without strong, you know, information systems, HRIS, this is a very, very, you know, subjective pr approach. And if you get it wrong, the hidden cost, which is a very, very real cost, oh, again, all the studies say it's between one and a half and three times the annual salary is the cost of losing someone for retention. So simple systems, simple effective systems can make a big difference to this, but it's end to end. It's not just about, you know, when they're in the organization, it's as they're leaving your organization, as they're joining it, as they're in your organization, it's end to end where you've got to be important with your systems. And it's about doing the work and helping people do the work. They need to be able to do what they're being paid to do. That's what they trained for. That's what they studied for. That's what they're, they get motivation from doing. So employees, managers, HR, professional leaders, if you're burdening them with slow systems, then it's a hidden cost around morale, around actually getting the key HR work done or, or not getting it done fast enough if it's difficult. And also the opportunity cost, if they're spending more time on HR work than they should be, then that's going to impact on when they can actually do their real work. And when it comes to results, you know, if you don't know how to, and you can't set clear, easy, clear goals using your HRIS, then the organization is going to be running blind. You're going to be running the organization blind as well. So without these clear goals and goals that can be tracked, you know, no one's going to have clarity as to why they're there and what they're being measured on. And every successful organization has 100% clarity on what the role of every single person is within that organization. And that, you know, mounts up into being something that, you know, the, the organization, that drive towards the organization's overall goals. But it's also something that can be tracked and measured and monitored, not after the effect, but along the way as you're, as you're moving towards your weekly, monthly or annual goals. So next up, we're going to talk about, you know, why there are real barriers that face any organization if they don't have a strong HR system or a strong HRIS in place. Um, if you have any questions at all, just reach out to me directly below and there'll be links as well around this that you can get more information on.